make some fun and easy Valentine's Day decorations. And these are just some that I'm going to be making at my house this year. This cute little frame so that me and my family can write messages to each other. And I'll probably be making two of these, one for Casey and I and one for the kids, because Braylee already can't wait to write a lot of little notes on there. I just found these cute letters. They're just made out of wood at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so the things that you're going to need are frame, and I just got this wood frame at Michael's, and it was only a dollar. Some Valentine's Day scrapbooking paper, and you don't necessarily need it specifically for Valentine's Day, but it would be good to have pink or red or any of those colors. And then you're going to need some wood letters to cover. And I've seen these at a lot of different craft stores. I got these ones at Hobby Lobby, but I know Michael's has different wood letters that you can get there. And they're pretty inexpensive. Okay, let's start with the frame. And I painted my frame pink. You don't have to paint it. You can just Mod Podge it or you can just paint it. Either way works. You can even take an old frame that you have laying around and just put in I love you because and that would work too. So whatever is easiest for you. I just took my wood frame and I put a piece of scrapbooking paper on it and just traced where I needed to cut. So I just laid it right down on there and then just marked these little edges. And I cut that out so you're gonna have a piece of paper that looks like this. And then of course I have my Mod Podge and I just glued it down on the picture frame. If you don't wanna make a frame that says just because I love you to write letters, this is also an easy way to make a Valentine's Day present for someone that you love. You can just put the scrapbooking paper down on there and put a picture of you guys in it. Or you can even write like a, a quote that you like for that person or a letter that you want to stay in there. It's just an easy way to make a fun Valentine's Day present. Push that down really good. And the longer you let that dry, the less likely you'll have bubbling. So push that down really well and let it dry for a few minutes. And so I just took the back piece of the frame and then I just put it down on a piece of paper and traced that and then cut it out so that I had this little piece of paper. And then you're, you're going to want to go in a little ways from the corners so that the frame doesn't cover any of that up and just write, I love you because. And once your frame has dried a little bit, just apply another coat of Mod Podge over the top. Make sure to seal those edges really well. And then this next step that I usually do, you don't have to do it, but once the Mod Podge has dried on top, I like to go around with sandpaper and kind of file those edges so if they don't match perfectly, you're gonna be able to, to get that a little bit more. Okay, now once your frame is all dried, and I've sanded the edges just to make it fit a little bit better, and then put that all back together, slide it in there and put the back back on. You're going to be able to write messages with a dry erase marker, and I'm going to put, I love you because you make me So then you can just leave your kids or your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend a little message every day of reasons why you love them. And I think it would be fun to keep something like this up all year so that you can always remind that person why you love them. Or I think sometimes it's easy to feel unappreciated. So you could say, I love you because you did the dishes or I love you because you took the garbage out. With the wood letters, I did basically the same thing that I did with the picture frame. I just measured it all on a piece of paper, just cut it out the same size as my wood letters, and then I put that down and Mod Podge it all like I do normally. And I'm actually gonna take these ones this time and glue them together. You could take these and glue them together or you can glue them to a board so that they stand, or they have little hooks in the back. You could hang them up. So whatever you want to do, there's different ways to do it.
Okay, so once you get it all glued together, like I said, you can glue that all to a board. I'm gonna just put a ribbon back behind it so that I can hang it on the wall. So I'm just gonna take my glue gun and glue a ribbon on. And it would probably be better, again, if you had a screw or a staple gun. Okay, so once you get your ribbon on, it's just gonna be a cute little hanging decoration like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no wrong or right way to glue them together. Just whatever you like. Okay, so these are just quick and easy, fun decorations that we're going to be doing at our house this Valentine's Day and fun presents that we'll be making for each other and other people. I hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you next time.